Hello, fellow brothers and sisters in the Lord. Amen. God is good. Here we are Friday, the 24th of the month. We got our church picnic on Sunday. We got a prayer meeting in Newton at 1 o'clock in the Newton Square. And we got some time to pray right now. Amen. So our scripture reading was Titus chapter 1. A very short verse here that just jumped out at me. To Titus, verse 4, a true son in our common faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. How sweet. God's undeserved favor, God's mercy, his compassion, and his shalom, his peace from God our Father and from Jesus Christ, his Son. Amen. Our nation that we're praying for today is the nation of I guess I should keep my glasses on. Bhutan, 708,000 people, only 13,000 <clears throat> evangelical Christians. Buddhist is the largest religion there. The fastest growing religion is Christianity. Christianity. So it's good to see. Let's keep it going. Amen. And we'll do that in our prayers today. So let's go ahead and pray as we start off our day. Bless you, Father. Father, we give you thanks. We thank you for the rain last night, Father, that watered our fields, Lord. We know it's getting near the end of the season, Lord, as we have entered into autumn now, Lord. But we do thank you, Father, always for your goodness. Rain, as long as it's not flooding, is a blessing from you, Father. So we receive that. We thank you for a new day in front of us, the last per se, work day for those that work Monday to Friday, Lord. We thank you for that also. We thank you always for our great salvation in Christ Jesus. And I thank you for my brothers and sisters that are with me today. And I start off my prayer time praying for them and their families, Lord. I pray for their desires. You said, delight yourself in the Lord, and he'll give you the desires of your heart. Lord, I pray that you would help meet their desires. I pray for their physical well-being, Lord, their mental well-being, their spiritual well-being, that they're growing in you. Oh, God in heaven, I thank you that you're always for us and not against us, that you are on our side. Lord, we lift up all the prayer cards that have come in this week. So many more have come in on the Wednesday service and here and there, Lord. We lift up the prayer cards of the church family and we pray over our brothers and sisters, and we thank you, thank you, thank you for needs being met. We lift up the nation of Bataan before you, Father, and we pray for these uh, Buddhist people, Lord, for their eyes to be open to the gospel of Jesus Christ. We lift up the people in Afghanistan as things are still going on there, Lord, the fiasco, the the terribleness of what we've done. We pray, Father, for the people there, the Christians that are stuck there, the, the uh, workers that are there, and we pray that they can be brought out. We pray for what's going on on our border. We pray for the Haitian people, Lord, good people, Lord, good people, that you would help them, Lord, and the other immigrants there also, Father, on our borders. We pray that you give some common sense to our leaders, Lord, so that they would make good decisions to help people and not to harm people. We pray for those in the executive branch, legislative and judicial. We pray for Biden, Harris, Pelosi, and Schumer, Roberts, who is the top people on these three levels, to whom much is given, much is required, Lord. So we pray for them that they'll take this seriously, Lord. We pray for our missionaries around the world. We lift up Bob and Gail as they're coming to the end of their adventure, Lord. We pray for safety as they travel home. No effect from the different culture, the foods, on and on. We pray for our United States of America, Lord. And we thank you, Father, for touching people in our country, Lord. Lord, as we see the wrap-up of, the, uh, of these things, as we see America shifting out of the prophetic view, Lord. We just thank you, Lord, that scripture will be fulfilled, Lord. And that we pray over the world as all eyes are on Israel, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that the Republicans were able to get 
that billion dollars for the uh, the Iron Dome for the Israeli government, Lord, that they can protect themselves, Father. We thank you for people standing up for Israel in our nation. We pray for them. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem, and we thank you for that. Now, we thank you for this new day, Lord, and we thank you for your presence and your goodness with us. If God is for us, who can be against us? We continue to look up because we know we're at warp speed. My goodness, we're seeing things around us we thought we'd never see so quick because Scripture must be fulfilled. Our redemption's drawing nigh. Maranatha, Maranatha, our redemption is drawing nigh. We pray for our neighbors and loved ones, Lord, that they'll see that we're never going back to normal. We're going to go back to what we were meant to be in your presence, where there is fullness of joy, Lord. So we long for that day when we see our Savior's face. Thank you for this day. Thank you for your strength and your strength and well-being. We praise you and honor you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, God is good. Thank you always for your prayers for myself and our family. And you have a great day.